today class, we will be learning about the Pythagorean theorem. Boring! Now, can anybody tell me what that is? Kayla? What? Explain the Pythagorean theorem in your own words. I could care less. That has nothing to do with my future. Or in life itself. Tanya, could you explain to Kayla what this has to do with everything? It has to do with a lot because... Tanya! Shut up. Ugh! Kayla, you're coming with me. Bippity boppity boom! Whoa, what am I doing here? What do you want to be when you grow up? An architect? Well, architects use Pythagorean theorem to build houses and bridges. How? I'll show you. with right triangles mm -hmm. and this is how it's used in everyday life okay future architects like yourself use the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared well how would I solve that problem using that formula you would have to find the numbers in this case the right triangle means 90 degrees. So A equals 6. And what does B equal? B equals 8. So what's the formula? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay. formula and this is what you're going to use to solve the problem instead of me solving it for you. Okay? But for that, you need the human calculator. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to plug in the numbers. So, eight times eight equals 64. Okay. 6 times 6 equals 36. 6, 4, <laughs> plus 3, 6 equals 100. Before I get C, I need to square root 100, which is 
zero, zero square root equals ten. So with the help of my human calculator, C equals ten. Yeah, yeah. Could you prove the Pythagorean theorem for the class? Um, yeah. So, since the formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then if you square 5, which is a, then you get 25, and you get this square right here. And if you square 10, which is b, then you get 100, which is this square right here. And then you add these together, and you get 125, and that's this square right here. And... When you get this shape, you have a triangle in the middle, which is right there. So, that's the proof. Correct. A plus.